we are back again with another video. And today we are reviewing the latest toy line in Heroes of Gujitsu. Heroes of Gujitsu! Battle in the deep Goo Sea with new squishy, fishy heroes and gooey attacks. Slit Slam! Head Pot Attack! Volcano Blast! That's what we are reviewing. Heroes of Gujitsu, Deep Goo Sea. But really, this, we are reviewing a triple haul with three sets. But before we get to that, I want to show you this awesome gorilla that my uncle got for me. This is the artist collection Wild Republic Silverback Gorilla. And the first thing that you'll probably notice is his like crazy detail. Look at this. He looks like an actual gorilla. Look at that silverback. Looks like a real silverback gorilla, but also his chest, his face, his eyes, even his head and his fur looks realistic. Like, how could he not want to pick this guy up? Anyway, he was beyond expensive and he was just a crazy stuffed animal that I really appreciate my uncle getting for me. And he's probably one of the best out of the Wild Republic toys, out of the Wild Republic stuffed animals and plushies. So he's definitely one of the best. Thanks to him. But anyway, let's get back to our Gujitsu. The first set that we'll open is Here's a of Gujitsu Deep Gussie. And this is exclusive title Smash Thrash and Hammer Hook. Hammer Hook is right there. Yes, exclusive Hammer Hook. These are exclusive because they're only in this double set. It also says Chomp Attack and Chomp Attack for Hammer Hook as well. And then it says, I'm squishy. Then Hammer Hook says, I'm stretchy. And I kind of suspect what Hammer Hook's material and his material are going to be like. Anyway, it says, try me here. So I could already feel them. But I want to see him in person. This other set we're going to review. So anyway, let's get them open. I actually have no trouble opening these. I thought that was really easy. Now, we just have to pull this plastic in half. Oh, that broke off. Okay, so the first one we'll review, we'll review is Thrash. This, your, this is a really freaky Thrash. Not only is he golden, but he has blue Orbeez inside of him. No, let's stretch him. Okay, um, he's kind of hard to stretch. I mean, he can stretch, but there's definitely Orbeez. Oh, look, there's a piece inside of him. Like, that that's a good throwback. That's a good bonus. Just like the first series of Heroes of Gujitsu, they, they hid, like, treats inside of them. Where is it again? It was a... Okay, anyway, it did... It looked like an octopus. Yeah, that, that was definitely an octopus. And if you were able to catch it, it did look like an octopus. And again, he has his chomp attack. Not really that, uh, not really um, that crazy. Just a little chomping maneuver. So I, I'm not, I'm not that impressed by it. But oh, oh, he has another thing. What is that? It's a crab. That's definitely a crab. Yes. Okay. So anyway, thrash the exclu the exclusive. Tile Wave Thrash, I guess. Is that what he was called? Yes. This is a, a great variation of Thrash, and I've never seen anything like it. His outfit is also really crazy. So here's him side by side with a Dino X ray double pack Thrash. But anyway, pretty cool. Give, I give him credit. Now, his rival, Hammer Hook. And this is, this is probably the first Hammerhead Shark that enters the toy line. So, let's see him stretch. Yes, he's is, he is beyond he is beyond stretchy, and we know his name comes from him having a hook, and he's a hammerhead shark, and he has chomp attack. It's a little better than thrashes, but it's not it's not that crazy to be honest. Anyway, let's see what he has in him. He appears to have some sort of fish in him that looks like a fish, I think, but. They always put strange things in Gujitsu's, and obviously he's from the villain side. And also, 
fun thing. Let's get this other package. If you look here, it says he's good. But if it has this symbol, it says that he's bad. So he's a, he's a villain. So this guy is a villain. But anyway, pretty neat figure. And it, um, his gel material, I've seen in many other Gujitsus, that stretchy gel-like material. That's probably the stretchiest material out of all the Gujitsus. But anyway, pretty crazy figure indeed. Credit to Hammerhook. Also, guys, it is titled Smash Thrash. Um, I thought it was titled Wave Thrash because I simply just forgot. But um, I am very confused because sometimes it says Title Smash, sometimes sometimes it says Title Wave. It said Title Wave before in other packages, but it's just there are so many things that have to do with the word title, like Title Wave, like anything aquatic. And also, I did find the the octopus in him, and I also found the sea star too. Um, let's see, where's the sea star? Oh, there's a sea star. It's right there. Okay, but anyway, again, Thrash and Hammerhook are really cool. This is, I, I give a thumbs up to this first set. Anyway, the next set is Ice Blast Blazagon versus Horror Glow. And this is another crazy duo. And again, it says Try Me, Heal Them. So the package says Ice Blast Attack from Ice Blast Blazagon. X-ray bones from Horror Glow, and then it's a, it's saying you can also get this set. Or you have that. Then Ice Blast the Blaze Gone says I am super, I am crunchy. Then Horror Glow says I am oozy. So let's get them out and compare them with the other set. All right, now they're coming apart. They, these actually used to be really easy to tear open because they were just one package. But the double packages are definitely harder to tear out. To take out. Right, there we go. It's starting to pop. Alright, let's get them out. Okay. Now we have Ice Blast Blazogon. And man, this is a magnificent figure. Not only is he has silver armor, not only that. But look at his, his skin is blue. And look what's inside him. Oh, what are those? He has accessories. Okay, but first, before we talk about the accessories, there are actually little creatures. Whatever those are in him, but I can't really make it out. They must be sea creatures. But uh, do you see what's inside him? Those look like ice flakes. They could be teeth, like ice teeth. I don't know, but he his also his uh, his scale style on his head it's extremely similar to this guy. The, what was this called? The Goo Shifter Blazagon. His a style, I guess hair or whatever it is, scale on the scales on his hair, on his head is very similar to the, to the Goo Shifter Blazagon. And even their, even their faces and their expressions look the same. Then his tail looks just like Blazagon. But it's some sort of weird, like, like kind of like water tail. And I don't know what he has to do with the deep goose sea. Like, I guess he's from the Arctic Ocean. But anyway, let's see how he stretches. Yeah, you can see the ice flakes in him. But anyway, I can't believe they actually put, like, ice flakes in him. He literally has ice flakes. Oh, God, it got stuck. Oh, no, the blood's rushing to his arm. <laughs> well, the, in this case, the ice is rushing to his arm. It's coming back. Yeah, I guess I'll do. Okay. Man, he almost he almost like had a some sort of ice rush. All all the ice went to his arm. I have never seen that before. But anyway, Ice Blast Blazagon is probably one of the coolest Blazagon variations I've ever seen. I can't believe they put ice flakes in him. His skin color is amazing, so is his silver armor. But anyway, this guy's just crazy. So his uh, Combatant. His opponent is Horror Glow. And another throwback. Crazy. Do you see he has X-Ray? Just like they said. And it I guess they're trying to throw back the Dino X-Ray kind of vibe. Because do you see it shows his skeleton? And of course he has things in him. 
like this fish that appears to be a fish and this what is that looks like some sort of eel then this thing is just that's probably just coral i can make that as coral so he's super oozy he definitely does feel he he does feel super oozy to me he's pretty stretchy too and uh, clearly he's an angler fish as soon as you look at him you'll think angler fish because of his bulb his fins and his creepy looking eyes and sharp teeth but he's he definitely looks like he's made for the deep sea he's actually really stretchy and really squishy i think the i think the fox said i'm squishy or stretchy or oozy he's probably really oozy i i'm pretty sure they said and now i've been saving the best for last king hydra you probably saw uh, saw him in the commercial if you ever seen the commercial if any of you have seen the commercial you've probably seen this guy in the new commercial and when i saw him trust me i just i lost my horses dominate with king hydra i like my fish fried anyway king hydra has three fillings and those are stretchy squishy and goo here i'll just show you on the back so the first filling is stretchy, squishy, and gooey. So it says super stretchy, super squishy, and super gooey. So basically three fillings in one gujitsu. How crazy is that? I've never seen that before. And you said three unique goo fillings. Then it, then it says the max stretch. And it says blast so that the three heads do different things. So this one blasts a projectile, this one roars, and then this one stretches out, like kind of like a slinky. Anyway, he is King Hydra, and he also comes with a trident, so that's a cool bonus. Anyway, it also has a description. Lights up for battle action, 35 sounds. Okay, here's the description. Roller of the Deep Goo Sea. King Hydra is the most powerful hero in the universe. With a trio of unique goo fillings, he launches the ultimate three, three-pronged attack using his golden trident. Pretty crazy. And also, these are the others. These are kind of like the more common figures. Thrash, normal thrash. Not, not the golden thrash here, but this is just a variant. Blazagon. He's not the ice blast Blazagon. He, he, he's just a different variation, just an ice version. And Fugu. I really hope to get Fugu. Anyway, let's get him out. This is a figure. There you go. It's probably the toughest to get out. There we go. Now we're kind of hurt. Okay, let's get him out. Oh my god, he's so jumbo. You can't come out without his trident. Wow, that's a plastic trident. I thought it was going to be kind of rubber. But there he is. King Hydra, the one and only. And of course, one hand is weird because it's a pincer. The other hand's just a regular hand. He has three heads. So this one stretches. So I thought it was going to stretch longer, but anyway... This head opens its mouth and stretches, stretches super far back, and then goes back, kind of like a slinky. Then this one launches a projectile. This appears to be the button. I guess it, I guess it's not doing it. I don't know why. Let's put it back in and do it again. No, nothing. Anyway, this head, you've probably been noticing, it makes sounds. And this is also, this is very reminiscent to the, to the, to the Super Goo, to the Super Goo Tyro from Dino Power. He used to make sounds and his body would light up. Anyway, this is the gooey part. 
which is super stretchy. Then there's this, this is the squishy part. I like the shorts. This is the squishy part, and then this is the stretchy part. So let's stretch him. And this is probably the stretchiest out of all of them. Then he has, of course, a very weird fish looking tail. Probably some sort of fins on his back. But anyway, he's just, I have the thing that I'm freaked out about is his jumbo size. Let's put the trident here. See, he holds it. And there, are, I've seen many Gujitsus who hold things in their hands. That's why they have the hole in there. But I can't believe I actually got his hands on him. And he actually, he, you probably remember that he was a character in series three of Heroes of Gujitsu. He was an ultra rare Hydra. But he didn't make sounds. He was stretchy, and he just had three heads. But they now they they gave him a reboot, and now he's King Hydra. I never got the ultra the ultra rare King Hydra from the series three, but this is definitely something that I'd have rather than that figure. But anyway, this is a, just a really awesome figure. And before and before I stop, we're gonna see if that projectile works. We have finally figured out how the projectile is able to launch. So you put it in there, you have to lock it on because there, there are some ridges on the projectile and you have to lock it straight into place so it can so it can spring out of the mouth. So let's do it. That's it. It just launched a projectile. So let's do let's try that again. So how could it knock over another gujitsu? No, the brush doesn't really stand, but it's the best. It definitely looks like it knocked them over, but that that is a if you want to make it like like throw your gujitsu, like it isn't really that strong. But if you ever launch it towards like your gujitsu, you can make it like fly in the air or something. Like you do that, and then you just throw your gujitsu, make it seem like it was a huge blast. But anyway, I'm glad to have my hands. On this, on this amazing figure, and uh, this is just probably one of my favorite Gujitsu's ever, and I'm lucky to have my hands on it. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this crazy video of our triple toy haul of all of these Gujitsu's put together, and I hope to get more of Heroes of Gujitsu Deep to see. So, leave a like. Comment and subscribe. We'll see you guys next time.